Mother Nature sure does think she's funny here in Ohio. That's right. All of a sudden, we had a snowstorm right in the middle of a warm and beautiful spring. The red pandas don't mind the change in weather. It's actually really good enrichment for them. Exactly. And red pandas really enjoy a wide variety of climate ranges. The snow never bothered them anyway. <laughs> You might notice various paper bags in the habitat today. And we were giving them enrichment to see if they liked different smells or to hide their food in the bags. And they would care less about them. Apparently they're just enjoying getting around in their habitat. But this is a real exploratory time to find out some of their likes and dislikes when it comes to enrichment. They are new to us here at the Akron Zoo, and we learn more about their personalities every day. And right now, Lulu is very interested in that accumulation of snow on Coco's back. Coco really could care less about all that white stuff. And it's not affecting her appetite one bit. Have you ever wondered how Coco, Lulu, and Penny got their names? I sure do. They were born at the Kansas City Zoo. And after their exciting birth, the zoo reached out to the local elementary schools and challenged them to come up with their names through a fundraiser called Pennies for Pandas. The students raised money for the Red Panda Network. The schools that raised the most money each got to pick a name for one of the Red Pandas. And so that's how Coco, Louise, nicknamed Lulu, and Penny got their names. Now Coco, Lulu, and Penny would like to raise money for the Red Panda Network to help support their native counterparts. The Red Panda Network has become a world leader in efforts to protect red pandas and their habitat. Their conservation programs extend to over 1 million acres of forest and 50% of Nepal's red panda range. So help support our red pandas efforts to raise money for the Red Panda Network and donate today. We'll see you next time on Panda Power.